and we're back with another episode of a sampler pod today we're going to talk about the wwe draft and see who got the who got the better picks so we're going to throw it to jj he's going to start with our countdown with smackdown with the number one pick coming out from smackdown smackdown selects roman reigns the tribal chief solo sokoa and paul Heyman. Come on, man. There's no other doubt. Yeah, there's no other doubt that they're going to get an A+. Plus. Come on. This is the best overall pick. The best overall uh, group. What else can you ask for? I mean, in any ways, he has both titles. So, yeah. even that. I mean, right now, he has the best storyline, the best character, the yeah. best wrestler in the world probably right now. And you have both titles. So, by default. This is like the best manager of all time. This is like selecting the '96 Bulls. Yeah, who are you gonna select? Number one from that from that from that team, uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. This is the, <laughs> the MJ, the, the yeah. goat. So yeah. <laughs> mm. But anyways, uh, all right. Yeah. So so so, what do you give this pick? What, what what do you rate this pick? I'm gonna give it an A plus, man. A plus all right. All the way. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Um, I give it an A just because I think it was predictable. It was it was obvious. Uh, I would have liked the Usos with this package too, but you know it is what it is. I guess they have storyline reasons, and we'll find out a little bit later why. Correct. We have Monday Night Raw, and the number one pick we have the American Nightmare, your favorite wrestler ever, the best babyface in the history of the planet, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, crickets. <laughs> now, now, it, I mean, it, honestly, it makes sense. I mean, I give it a, I give it an A. It, it's kind of standard. He's the biggest baby face in the company. At least they're trying to push him as the biggest baby face in the company right now. So it makes sense. I mean, right now, who else? Are, who else are you going to select as the number one pick if you're trying to build? Um, if like if it was two separate companies, you need somebody strong to build it around as a strong baby face. And right now, you could have selected Seth Rollins. You're gonna give minutes. it an A. Yeah, I'll give it an A. I'll give it. I'm an gonna a. give it a B and not even hate it. Only because okay. of the fact is that we don't know where this is gonna go. We don't know why they put Brock versus Rhodes. I mean, clearly, well, you know what? We know they did it mainly for to give Rhodes Cody out of the Roman Reigns picture. That's why they did it. Then, I mean, to make him suffer too, he has to. He he needs to suffer. Yes, that's that's our biggest thing that we've been mentioning for uh, God knows how long. But the other thing is, like, what are we gonna do from here? What do it, let's say let's say Cody wins, beats Brock. Okay, so where else do we go? I have no idea. So I say that Brock needs to win. I predicted that he's gonna win at Backlash. Okay, so. Cody said on Monday Night Raw that if he he needs to win because he needs to continue his story with Roman Reigns. Technically, bro, you already took the L at Ro WrestleMania, bro. And then on top of that, it's looking like they're taking this uh, this brand split very serious. So you're taking another L because you're not in the same roster with Roman Reigns. But like you said, um, whenever we're texting, the money in the bank could let him cash in for whichever title he wants he's so, gonna uh, win everything he's gonna win the, yeah the money in the bank then he's gonna win the world rumble yeah, yeah. he's <laughs> gonna win he's gonna win the, the money in the bank fail the cash in like austin theory and then he's gonna win the rumble again and yeah and he may lose again or he may actually win win the win the um the money in the bank take it to royal rumble win at the royal rumble lose against roman Cash in again and lose again. <laughs> could happen. I, I could see it because it seems like that's where At the story's point, going, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I'm going to give it a B because right now we don't know what we're going to do with him. Uh, so <laughs> what you guys want to talk about? So, oh, yeah. God. I hate that phrase, but anyways. No, but I think you're, I think you're completely right. Um, all, I, all I know, uh, by the way, don't be shocked if Cody turns heel if he loses against Brock and he just shows it throws a tantrum that would be interesting though that'd be I mean, very interesting like realistically this man has been acting very heelish especially against security he's a natural heel bro he's more of a natural heel than he is a baby face i'm sorry yeah. like, like i know people like him and he's not a bad wrestler he's a great wrestler 
But come on, man. Like, it, it just seems like they're... I lost mm. it, bro. Whenever he started whooping uh, the security's ass, I'm like, yo, what kind of baby face does this? Like, realistically. No. Like, <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time that that happened. Okay, but then he got cheered on. So, you know. Oh my it served God, a, it served its purpose. It served its what? purpose, I guess. Yeah, so that's fine. <laughs> so, with the number two pick for SmackDown, they went with the ESD of WWE, Bianca Belair. Yes. Best I woman in the women's division, realistically. Mm-hmm. Uh, very close with Becky Lynch. But. And Rhea, too. Um, Rhea's kind of there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Rhea's a. Just a tad bit lower. Yeah. Um, we predicted that they were going to. That the ESD was going to go to uh, SmackDown. Mm hmm. And. Excuse me. Sorry. She needed guys. a refresh. She needed yeah, a she refresh. Needed, she needed that mm-hmm. badly. Because she's been on Raw for like how many years now? Oh God, seems like forever. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a A plus. A plus, yeah. Yeah, I, I give it an A plus too. Plus the fact, one, I don't know if they're gonna turn her heel anytime soon, but I could see a heel turn. Two, she's gonna have, she's finally gonna have what she hasn't had ever since she became a big star, which is competition. Because it just seems every time she gets somebody, it's like. Okay, let's just throw Bailey at her, right? Or let's just throw Asuka at her. But there's not really a storyline. There's nothing. It just happens. Like, there's nothing behind it. It just happens. So that's not how you build a women's division. You have to create a story. You have to build that momentum. If not, it's just going to be a match. And that's why people watch WWE more than AEW, because you get that story. Because if you're not going to get the story, you're going to get the in-ring. So then what's the purpose of even watching in this case? Correct. And that's why that's why they fail in the women's division. Yes. All right. So the next pick from Monday Night Raw was the man Becky Lynch. Again, almost the same exact description as Bianca. The only thing is that she's not going to have a lot of competition, but hopefully she may be able to help some of the people that are coming up next. So I, I think it may not be necessarily a bad idea. You know, she she came up through the uh, through the NXT system and everything. So I mean, she knows how to go from being uh, independent to NXT to become one of the biggest stars in WWE. So I think she could be a great mentor for for these people. That is very true. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's see what happens with that. I do give I gave it a I give it an A. Yeah. Um. Obviously, because I, I, to be honest with you, I was very surprised that they did go with Becky Lynch, and they didn't go with Rhea. But Rhea wasn't part of that group on Friday. She got yeah. drafted. Which I was very surprised too. I was just like, okay, so. Well, they have to give her all something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, like, that realistically, it's like, we, like, if EST got picked, like, we knew that Rhea was going to get picked too. Monday Night Raw, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, okay, why not doing that there? But. Anyways, Which I hope they get... face each other at WrestleMania, but that that's a whole other story. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give it an A. What did you give it? Yeah, I give it an A also. Solid A. And a A. All right, man. Moving on to SmackDown's third overall pick. They decided to go with, very random, but the Street Profits. Yes. Street Profits. I was in, I was kind of like in between liking this pick or hating it because I feel like you could have gotten them later on in the draft. Yeah. Nothing, not, not a knock against them, but realistically, um, they don't have any titles. They haven't won a title in a long time. Mm-hmm. They have been losing matches, except they're not involved for, in any storylines either. Nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, I like them. Don't get me wrong. They're entertaining. I love their theme music, uh, the energy that they bring, and I hope this is an opportunity for them to be the face of the uh, the the division, though. The, the no. division, yeah. but. It's going to be a tough division because yep. uh, night two, we go a lot of sharks. More. Yeah. So, yeah, no, um, I'm going to no. give it a B because a B? They, sh- they they reached for this. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The uh, Street Profits, I honestly, uh, I, give it a, I give it a B because I don't think they should have gone that high. The only reason I could see it is because at some point you will have Montez Ford as a bona fide superstar. He yes. will, uh, maybe amicably or maybe for whatever reason, but they're going to separate at some point. It's just 
the uh, Montez is just too good to to keep him in a tag team for that long. So sure. that's the only reason. But I do I do feel like they like you said they they could have gotten him probably like seventh or eighth uh, at that point with all the yeah. rest of the people that are there. Yeah, yes. I agree. So with 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 the number three pick, and this one made a lot of sense. Monday Night Raw selected Imperium with Gunther. This one, I'll just go straight ahead. A plus, bro. A plus. A plus? Nah. I I I think it's A plus. Be- uh, uh, one uh, one because Gunther to me is amazing. He's the IC t- he's the IC champion, a dominant champion, which we haven't had an IC title champion like that in ages, literally. But uh, the two other guys, Vinci and I forgot the other guys, Kaiser and Vinci, they're amazing in the ring. These guys are really good. So you have literally the complete package. I mean, you're, you're, there's, they don't have any weak points. They're great. Uh, even, even on the mic, they're halfway decent. Even Gunther has been cutting kind of interesting, <laughs> almost, uh, <laughs> almost funny sounding promos, but it makes sense. It goes with their character. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I, I give it an A plus. Plus, I do see Gunther being a future world heavyweight champion. Period. Like soon, and, uh, think, it's in the next year, year and a half. I think what they should do with Imperium and Gunther is uh, do the same treatment that you gave them to the Bloodline. Uh, give them all the gold, have it be interesting, and then a Survivor Series you could have Roman Reigns versus Gunther, and I don't know at that point Solo and somebody else. If that's if the Bloodline has a split, so yeah. Hey, even even though my BMM match would be solo against Gunther. Woof. Uh, Bro. That would be great. Next one, SmackDown with the fourth overall pick. They selected the rated R superstar. Edge, he finally gets away from the Judgment Day. So because (laughs) of that pick, I'm going to give it a B plus because I'm tired of seeing Edge and Judgment Day for a whole year for the same shit. So yeah. That's all it's like, it's like what what Roman would say, and over and over and, and over, over again. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, honestly, I give it a C because I honestly don't want to see. I never liked Edge that much back in the day. Don't like him much right now. Uh, I know he's a legend and whatnot, but stop. Like, go home, please. Bye. Go home to your children. Just be tired, please, bro. Seriously. But and I, 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 but I understand why he's there. I'm intrigued with the next pick, bro. Yeah. The next pick from Monday Night Raw. Bro. Matt Riddle. It's bro. Not bro. Bro. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Matt Riddle. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> but anyways, Matt Riddle. God. Go go ahead. I give you I give you the honors, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. You they <laughs> Drew McIntyre should have been ahead of this bum. Uh, matter of fact, Shinsuke Nakamura should have been ahead of this bum, even though he just got back from whatever the fuck he was doing. Uh, the Miss should have been ahead of this bum. Indy Hartwell should have been ahead of this bum. Matter Thanks. of fact, who else? Cameron Grimes should have been ahead of this bum. Like, Facts. Look. Man, uh, LA Knight should have been ahead of his bum. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Let's keep him. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, Matt Riddle, I don't have anything against him whenever it comes to in the ring. However, his fucking character is annoying. It's gotten annoying. It's terrible. He needs to rework. He needs to change something. We Cheap thought, RVD. We Wish that, RVD. Yeah. We thought that he was going to be able to repackage himself whenever he got back from his suspension. No, but no. Apparently, no, just, same thing. They just tagged him along with KO and Sammy, and <laughs> to KO, ruin that too. To ruin that, and then KO legit looks pissed off that he's with them. Like Matt Riddle, you know what Matt Riddle is? Matt Riddle is kind of like a fly in a restaurant where he stands on top of your brand new dish. They just brought it out, and there he goes circling around, and you see it, and you can't do anything about it. You know it's going straight. Bah. There yeah. it goes, straight in your pasta. Yeah. That's Matt Riddle. I'm gonna give this pick. You know, I was gonna give it a, a C only because of his in ring work. But I'm gonna give this shit a D minus. No matter of fact, no 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 no. You know what? Our first F. I agree. 
or first I agree. half? I agree. I give I I give it an F two for everything pick? that you just said. For everything fourth that you just said makes pick. total sense. You're gonna yeah. pick Matt Riddle with the fourth overall pick. It doesn't even make a kayfabe sense. It doesn't even make sense in, in I wrestling get, I world. Get that, I get that the group was different. Like you know what I mean. But <laughs> he got picked before Bobby Lashley. It no, like it no. bothers me. Like it bothered me whenever they said that. I was just like, I mean, I'm Why? glad that he's in, in Monday Night Raw and I don't have to see him. Like realistically, I'm not watching Monday Night Raw. I'm skipping Mondays. Like I'm off. I'll DVR it. I'll DVR it. Yeah. Just like, skip through it. Just, <laughs> as much as I possibly can. Just, I, I'll just uh, watch out for our short, you know, for the for the Monday Night Re- Raw recap. Oh, so that means I have to watch the damn thing? Yeah. You have to suffer through that shit. Oh, you, now I have to suffer? Now I have to be Cody Rhodes? Yeah. Not, I'm not doing that. Bruh. I'm not doing that. <laughs> the next pick, the, 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 with the fifth overall pick of for SmackDown, they selected the almighty... Bobby Lashley. Yes, yes, yes. I think he should have been probably at least as it's as it is right now, if it's under SmackDown, he should have been number three, in my opinion. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah this guy's great. Profits. Like this guy's great, and I don't think they've ever given him the respect that he deserves. This guy is a genuine beast. He is good. Too nice, but he's a beast. His uh his promo skills are terrible. But this put MVP like with fact. him. Do yeah. it. That's yeah. all you gotta do. Yeah, it's uh, like Paul Heyman and uh, yeah. So this one's an easy A. I'm gonna give it an A. Yeah. A. 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 <laughs> All right. So Monday Night Raw selects with the number five draft pick, Drew McIntyre, the Scottish Warrior. <laughs> I and I think it's a, it's good, a good pick. pick. It's a good. I think pick. it's a good. It, it, it's a good pick. It's honestly. just we haven't seen him in, since like Mania, right? Yeah, I think he's hurt or something. I don't, some people always, are saying something about his contract hurt. or something. Jesus. He's not hurt yeah. that much. He has been. Well, he can't get... Like, Roman can't get hurt as much as he does. Because Shut he up. doesn't wrestle. I don't so want to hear that just, It's true. But yeah, anyways. But, hey, you protect <laughs> your investment. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, hey, after that match, they had a mania. It's a miracle he's even back. So they'll even You're return because right. right. that was uh, that was a banger, literally. But uh, honestly, I I give it a I give it a B because it's it's standard. It he's very useful. You can use him as a heel or a babyface. He's very good in the ring. His promos are great. So I mean, he really doesn't have any he doesn't have any weak points. I'm gonna like, give I really it a B think also, yeah, because yeah. I don't know what's gonna I don't know what storyline he's gonna go into or what championship they're gonna go they're gonna get him to go for hopefully the world heavyweight champion uh it may give us some credibility but realistically i'm never gonna get over the fact that roman reigns was like you're always gonna be my favorite number two <laughs> that was like the rock with uh with the billy gun when he destroyed him on the mic and he never yeah. recovered yeah so mm-hmm. like realistically like if he gets the champion like the yeah. number two mm-hmm. guy that's that's all it's fine. It'll perpetuate that it is a number two title. Yeah. <laughs> so with, anyway. the, with the six yeah. pick of uh, SmackDown, Friday Night SmackDown, they selected the OC AJ Styles, the Good no, Brothers. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. No, no. They selected AJ Styles and just oh. a bunch of people. <laughs> That's what it and was. Mia Yim, Meechim, whatever you want to call her, bro, at this point. <laughs> I don't care. They selected oh. all four of them. I'm glad to see AJ Styles because I saw him live getting hurt, and it was terrible. So I'm really happy to see him back, and I think he's going to be good back in the blue brand. Um, for AJ Styles, I'm going give to it, give it a B just because AJ Styles in there. I will give it a, a higher rating if they weren't in there. And if it was just AJ Styles, however, the other three bums, no, I can't. Like, yeah. No, that's it. Um, I, I honestly, I uh, I give it an A for AJ Styles because I do think he's kind of like their, he's like the new Chris Jericho to a certain extent. He might, he, he can lose or he can do whatever. You can put him in his heel. As, he's one of these guys that's extremely useful. He could do a lot of things. So I, I do think that, uh, plus he's amazing in the ring. 
Uh, the the good brothers, I think they may be able to get something out of him, especially Carl Anderson. I really I really like Carl Anderson, to be honest with you. Uh, the other guy, uh, uh, Doc Gallows, I'm not a big fan of. But, Gallows? yeah, Luke Gallows, yeah. Well, he was Doc Gallows in the Indies, I think. Uh, whatever. Oh, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, the other dude, the, the big guy. The big guy. Yeah, but anyways, uh, and then Mia Yim. Let's see what happens. Uh, she, she can wrestle. She, yeah, she's not bad, but Mia Yim, I, I almost feel like she's in the same category as our girl. Who's our girl? Who's 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 our girl? Per oh, excellence. Bailey. Bailey? No, 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 no. Oh, Brooke. Oh, <laughs> Dana oh. Brooke. <laughs> Dana Brooke. <laughs> Dana Brooke. Because because she is know. she's yeah she's pretty good. I mean, but but it it just seems like they don't give her anything to do. Like she's just there. Like you could literally swap her out for almost anybody else and it makes no difference. They're just randomly gonna make her tag with uh, the EFC. For no reason. For no reason. Yeah, but right now, swap her out for Dakota Kai. Swap her out for, um, uh, what's the other ones? Uh, um, I forgot a name. But for anybody, for, uh, for I don't know, for any, anybody that's not that, uh, for Shotzi, it's not gonna give you that much of a difference. Her being in the storyline doesn't make a difference. So that's my only thing. So I mean, I'll I'll average it out to a C. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I give them a D. I give AJ an A. So it's a high C. So it's Not so the wait. So you're officially going with C? Yeah. Okay. Damn, I, I have sorry for confusing you. Sorry, sorry. My fault. My, my bad. My bad. My <laughs> bad. All right. So with Monday Night Raw with the six pick selects the Miz. It's fine. I mean, it's, it, that I think is an appropriate place for the Miz six. Seventh, eight. He's great on the mic. I, I love the Miz. He's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing. I don't but, have uh, tiny balls. Well, that that's getting old already, too. Come on, it's <laughs> what? like come on, it's hilarious, bro. Oh yeah, that's Vince McMahon humor. Let's talk about balls, yeah, balls, yeah. parts, and stuff like that. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, it's so great. But it's come on, man. <laughs> like no. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, I, I give it I give it a C because it is average. He's good, but there's nothing really special to it. Like he just I'm, fits. I'm gonna give it. Hold on, I'm, I'm typing down your answer. I'm gonna Wait, give it a C minus. Time out. He was one of the other ones we picked too. We picked him and Bobby Lashley to switch too. No, we didn't pick the match. I thought I thought we did. I really I thought we remember. did. I think so, but anyways. No, <laughs> because what, we would have been like, "What the fuck are we gonna? What the, what are they gonna do with the Miz?" Like the same thing they're doing right now. So have him talk. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a C minus only because he is more of a comedy spot most of yeah. the time, and he's just there just to collect a paycheck. Hey, which hey, I don't knock it. The man won a life. Look at his wife. Look at his kids. Look at his house, bro. Happy for the dude. Bro, you spit some bars there. Look at his life. Look at his wife. Oh, like cat in a hat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna give it a C minus. All right, cool. All right, next one. With the num with the wait with the number seven number pick. Seven. <laughs> Friday night SmackDown select damage control. Yes, I was happy about this pick, man. I'm kind of like happy to see. Uh, EST and then uh, Bailey in the same brand but in blue like, it yes really, it kind of reminds me of the old days mm-hmm. uh, we know what I'm Bailey gonna, can do bro yeah I'm gonna give this a B plus mm-hmm. okay I, I kind of agree I, I agree with you there Let, let's give it a B for Bailey because that's that's a B. by far the most important <laughs> the most important person in this in this whole storyline plus the fact I Come do on, think that Eoskai, I, I, exactly what I was gonna say. I think she can be a breakout star too, because she is amazing. When she was in NXT, she was an amazing champion. Except she is just, great in the ring. Just please don't have her cutting promos in, in, a in Japanese, language, in Japanese or whatever it is. I don't, I, I don't know what I don't know what, what aggravates me more, them doing that, or, or all of a sudden, or. Rey Mysterio. Yeah, because I want to do it for me, gente, for me, familia. It's like, why are you doing that, bro? Like, come on, man. Like, just. And then, wait, wait, wait. To say, mi gente, mi familia. Yeah, my people, my family. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> you kind of defeated the purpose. Uh, what the? Uh, what is the point of this? Raquel does we, the same uh, thing. And we speak in Spanglish, basically, yeah. all day, every day. And we leave we it don't do in Spanglish. We don't exactly. say, hey, este cabrón. We don't say, yeah, that. Come on, <laughs> We don't. Exactly. We, we exactly. simply don't. Exactly. No, time blocked. But anyways, <laughs> don't flip flop. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was a good. That was a good one. But anyways, uh, all right. So uh, Monday Night Raw with the seventh pick, Shinsuke Nakamura. Interesting pick. Uh, I, I think it's it's a good spot. Seven. I mean, it's not too high, not too low. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I, he's very, he's very good in the ring. I, I've, I've always loved his in-ring work. The strong uh, style. Yeah, he is very charismatic, considering that he doesn't speak the language that well. So, uh, but he does have that natural charisma. Uh, so people are, they want to see him. Like you look at him on the on the screen. But uh, I hope they do something with him this time. Like this can't, they can't continue just having him. Have random matches with Madcap Moss and stuff can like that, and Baron Corbin. And can we? Corbin. I'm gonna but give anyways. this pick a C. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fair. What, what did you give that's it? Fair. I give it a B because I, I like it. I've always liked Nakamura. Meh. I just He's great. Let him if you let him wrestle. He is really, really great. With the number eight pick out of Friday Night SmackDown. They selected from NXT, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, the NXT, the current NXT Women Champions. That was kind of out of left field. I mean, I'm 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 happy that at least somebody got picked from uh, from NXT. I am afraid they're going to get lost in the in the whole. They're going to get lost in the shuffle here. No, nah, Alba Fire is nice. It's just yeah, but Isla Dawn, I don't know, man. Like it's just. I'm okay with it. I mean, do do you, <laughs> bro? But do you do you really think that they're going to be able to stand up, especially in SmackDown? I think they would have been better off in Raw, just because no. it's not as strong. Let them, I let think, them. I think they're going to be able to handle themselves well. Mm, I don't know. Like low key, I think I, I'm gonna give this a B. Okay, I honestly, I've seen I, them wrestle. They're good. They're good wrestling. They're good together in the ring. Yeah, I, I have not seen that much of him. Uh, to be honest, with you, I, I did see a little more of Alba, Alba Fire uh, yeah. when she had that uh, that feud with uh, Toxic Attraction and whatnot, that whole uh, weird Bray Wyatt it type yeah. thing. Yeah, I mean, technically, they do they're doing <clears throat> the same thing. Like uh, Isla Dawn, she's like goth. So like, like so then you have her, then you have Alba Fire, also goth. Then yeah, you have so, Gigi Dolan, also so, goth. So it's like you got you got the goth queens going on out here coming out. So like, they legit, are like that's their theme. So yeah. All right, cool. All right. So with the last pick, uh, Wait, Lisa, you tell give it? You oh, give BM. It? I give it. A, I give it a C, not because I think they're good or bad, because I really don't know enough of them to be able to to be able to um, to be able to judge. But in my opinion. It's it may be a little harsh to throw him right into SmackDown right off the bat. I think Raw might may have been a better idea. Kind of maybe in a few months you can bring him once you test him out, but it's gonna be harsh. Yep, exactly. All right, so with the last pick of the televised uh, draft on Monday Night Raw, they selected Indy Hartwell, the current NXT Women's Champion, with the boot. So. I mean, I, th I think it's okay. I, I, she's another one that I'm, I'm not extremely. Uh, um, I, I don't know that much about her. I think she's all right. She's not great. Uh, she's not like uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. The, the smaller one. Uh, the the one that used to be the champion before. Mandy Rose. No. Oh, uh, Perez. Roxanne Perez. Yeah. Yeah. So. I honestly think that she is extremely talented, especially for her age. She's like 21. She's she's pretty good at the ring. But but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. Uh, she well, has the credentials. She, she deserved the title. She kind of got like that Big E treatment like for a very, very... She wrestled for a very, very long time in NXT and finally won. So she deserved it. 
Um, however, I personally think she's still green. Or like, she's kind of like, like almost ripe, almost there. You know what I mean? Es como un plátano. Como que, si, si, si lo coge no puede verde, ser tostones, ser no puede tostones. ser tostones. Ni sí. hacer amarillo. Exacto. So she's like, whenever, whenever. He's gotta wait. Cuando el plátano <laughs> está como que duro, pero medio dulce. Está casi, casi ahí como que in that weird greenish, yellowish color. That's where she's at. It's not there yet. It's not there yet. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like if you make tostones, they're going to come out semi-sweet. Yeah. So and you can't do amarillos either because they won't be sweet enough. Yeah. So uh, she's there. She's like there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, potential is there now. Should she have been called up over over other people? Mm, I don't know. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't need. No. We don't need any other women from NXT. Just saying. Yeah. Besides All the right. ones that got selected. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so, I, so I think that's the that was it, right? Uh, we didn't Where have did anybody you get else. This pick? Oh, this pick. I give it a. Uh, I I have to give it a. I would give it a D. I give it a C because give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm uh, agree I can't with put her down. Either. Go with the, with the C. Because hey, she's just know. like right there. She's like in between. You know what I mean? Well, you never know. You, she may end up being great. Yeah. Who knows? She may Maybe be her the character next Bailey. Hey, I'm just saying. She could be. We're going to have to go with SmackDown winning this easy <laughs> night one <laughs> not no question bro no question yeah. no question yeah, yeah. Well, the right. decisive picks that made smackdown win night one was definitely the roman reigns pick with the number one overall the est pick then on top of that the bobby lashley pick and the sneaky damage control pick yeah honestly in my opinion what really did take him over the edge was so in my opinion, Bobby Lashley and Damage Control, and then also that Monday Night Raw selected Matt Riddle, so that already brings him <laughs> down a couple a couple of notches right at the bat. So yeah, yeah, that was the difference maker there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All I right, man. So, yeah, so I think we're done with night one. Uh, so um, so yeah. So just uh, just make sure to like and subscribe as always, and peace.